Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name's Aaron and I hope you had a fantastic new year on Christmas break. Today is the 6th of January and this time, exactly one month ago, I released my asset pack, Tactics Toolkit. And as I was making the asset pack, I was trying to do some research around, around the Unity Asset Store to try and see what to expect when I'm releasing it. Um, and there really isn't a ton of information out there. So I thought a video like this might be helpful to some of you guys who are uh, thinking about making your own asset. You know, it's a great way to get some uh, extra income for the game that you want to make, right? Um, so let's jump into it right over to the Unity Publisher Portal. So uh, right off the bat, here's the, here's the number um, of total revenue earned. Uh, $824, that is with Toddy Tree sales. So that's the important number out of the way. Um, so if you're only here for that, uh, thanks for coming. <laughs> but we can spend a little bit of time going a bit deeper for you guys here. So when you uh, publish an asset, this is the Unity Publisher Portal. This is the beta version. There's another version that's not as nice to look at. Um, and this honestly leaves a lot to be desired as well in terms of analytics. I think I've been a bit spoiled by looking at uh, YouTube's analytics for the last couple of months. Um, but anyway, so um, technically, this is only this is the full price, but I only get 70% of this. So I think if I click on sales, uh, we'll see. So that's December. I got um, $454. And then in January for the last week, I've gotten uh, about, about $140. Um, so that's almost 600 almost 600. Um, yeah, so in the first month I got, uh, in December I got 26 sales and then since December I got uh, eight sales. And if I go back to the analytics over here, um, it's split into two ways. So we got views and then I got the, um, the actual sales and downloads. So I have on average a 2% conversion rate and there's no way for me to know where these sales came from. So I don't know how many of it is you guys that wanted it and how many of it is actually just coming from the asset store itself. Um, another thing I did for this asset pack was if I access, I created a free uh, asset pack as well. Um, and this, you probably recognize this. This is just the tutorial, the tutorial I did um, way back in February um, about the pathfinding stuff. So I just packaged it up. I made up an asset for it and uh, a free asset for it and it links to uh, the paid version, the asset pack, right? So um, I would assume that this has probably dragged in a bit of uh, viewership, at least, I don't know about sales, but at least some viewership to the main page. Um, you can see in terms of views, both of them are pretty much the same. The the um, the paid asset has a few more views than the, the free one. Um, but the free one obviously has significantly more uh, sales, um, which doesn't add up to any revenue. And it has a 40% conversion rate, which I thought was, which is actually really huge, I thought. That's like, yeah, really big. Um, but I guess it's free, so people don't really care. A lot of people a lot of people got it and then just didn't even bother downloading it, as you can see. Um, reviews, uh, I have one review, one five-star review. Shout out to Hazan if you see this video. Um, I had a chat with him after the fact and uh, yeah, really nice guy and I'm really grateful for this. Uh, obviously, you want more reviews than one, but um, it's never it's never been something I want to like push people to doing. So if you did get it and only review if you feel like you want to and make sure it's honest as well. Um, but really grateful to Hassan for this uh, review here. Um, he had one little criticism that he was chatting to me about where... Uh, there's some inconsistencies, but really we found out what it was is I just didn't do a very good job with the UI in the asset pack um, because it's not about the UI, right? So I just had a few buttons and I didn't care about it, but uh, it didn't really clearly tell, doesn't really clearly tell you how to actually control the game. Um, so that was a mistake by me and it's something I need to fix in an update. Um, but yeah, that is really what I boiled down to. So there wasn't an inconsistency. It was just shit UI design really. And what else is there even talk about? There's also, you can see that I got uh, 28 wish lists over the course of the period. Um, I released the pack at $25, which is kind of big. I did look for um, similar asset packs. So if I, if I search on the asset store, Tone Based Strategy, 
Um, I see ones, there's a ton bit strategy one here that is $50 or 50 euros even. Um, and then there's one here as well that is uh, 25 euros. Um, and this is the kind of the one that inspired me to do 25 on it. But I actually didn't realize this says euros and this says <laughs> dollars. So um, it's not actually the same price. I should actually rectify that, I think. Um, but this is kind of where I, I, this is the pack that I kind of base my price on because I think I have, we have fairly similar uh, tools, right? Um, and I did actually pick the price intending to put it on sale when it first came out, but uh, Unity actually doesn't allow you to put things on sale or have, uh, or promote sales either. So there's like a, there is like a, um, a thing I can opt into to say like if Unity wants to put it on sale, he can put it, they can put it on sale at X price. Um, and then so the people that wish listed, have wish listed it, will get notified when Unity decides to put it on sale. I don't have control over that, which is annoying because I would have put it on sale when I released it. But uh, anyway, that's the way it is. And I am actually not sure what else to even talk about with this. That's that's pretty much the limit of what Unity will give you in terms of analytics. Um, but yeah, I hope some of you maybe found this a bit useful. Uh, let me know if there's any more questions or any more stuff you want to talk about down below. Um, in terms of like feedback, that I've, I have had, had chats and emails with people um, since I released it and it's been really positive and I'm just so grateful. Thank you to everyone who has reached out and chatted to me. And uh, yeah, I think the, the biggest mistake I made, I think, is not having a very good uh, kind of introduction to how to use the asset pack. I didn't have like a getting started guide, um, which since has been, I did release a document of that and I thought of making a video for it as well, but I don't want to be, want to be shoving kind of this down people's throat too much. Like I don't want to be just making videos about this every week, trying to get sales. Um, so I don't know if you want to see it, like a getting started guide, just to see maybe how I set up scenes and how, how long it takes me to set up scenes. Let me know. Um, and I'll make it. I just, I'm, I'm a bit, wary about uh doing stuff like that oh and before i leave i did a thing and um, because people kept asking me for the thing and that is i created a discord uh lawless games on discord uh here i am my own lonely self in this discord channel uh, i haven't done any setup yet so i can actually look into what you do with discord channels i wasn't i never even intended on ever making a discord because everyone has a discord and it feels kind of weird but um, enough people were asking for it. And as during the break, I was gone for a few days and there was people messaging me asking for help. And I really didn't like that they had to wait a couple of days to get kind of response. So at least with this, um, people can ask each other if they do have questions or they do want to chat about stuff. So yeah, it does. it's not just for tactics toolkit people. Um, join in, join in and we'll figure, we'll, we'll, we'll create this thing together and, and figure out what it is we need once people get in there. So yeah, I hope to see you in there soon and I'm not on my own. Uh, but, and that is it. The next thing I am working on is a 3D level for my game because I was playing tri triangle strategy and, uh, I thought it was really good <laughs> and I want to play around with 3D levels. So that's what I'm doing right now is turning my game from 2D to 3D and seeing what that involves. Um, so far it's going really well and hopefully there will be something on that before the end of January. Uh, and I'm going to stop rambling because this is, I've been rambling too long. Thanks, guys. See you later. Cheers.